Hey guys, it's Shakur Makaya. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you're not, thank you so much for joining me again today. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look. I did the eyes and the lip um, for this tutorial because you know, I always do my face on camera and I just felt like it was very unnecessary today. So I want the focus to be on the eyes. So yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, please keep watching. So really quickly before we get into this video, I wanted to let you guys know about my hair because this is my first time wearing shorter hair in a long time. You guys know I normally wear my long weaves and wigs and stuff. Um, but this time I decided to go short. So you guys, this wig is by a company called Wigan Counters. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. Of course, the links and everything, the aspects on this hair will be down below in the description box in case you miss what I'm saying right now. But I really quickly want to give you guys some deets on this hair. Um, this is a Indian Remy wig. You guys, this is a wig. I did not make this wig though. It was already a wig. So it's 14 inches, 150% density. Um, this is a glueless, um, six, six inch parting space, which means it's six inches from the front to the back of the part. Um, and this one it did come with baby hair or whatever but i cut i did my own little baby hair situation because i don't really like when companies put baby hair on it because i'm not really into the thick baby hair i just do a little bit and you guys can you believe this wig is not even glued on like it's not glued on i literally put a wig cap on my hair and put this wig on and just did my little baby hair on the front so this is a very effortless very easy wig you guys like I'm really feeling this. Like, this is really cute. And this actually looks like my natural hair, which is another reason why I like it. Like, my hair is a little, my hair is longer than this. Let me see if you guys can see. This is where it stops in the front. Um, so my hair is longer than this, but this does give me the natural hair, my real hair feel. So I'm really liking this. But you guys, this um hair does not shed it's so pretty so soft um i like the fact that this wig is not too thick because you guys know how it is when like wigs that you purchase online sometimes they come too thick and then you gotta pluck them a lot i didn't have to do any plucking you guys the wig lays flat i just took my plug-in hot comb and just flattened you know the roots or whatever of the wig and you know it was straight so it was already straightened like this it came straight so it's not really much you have to do to this hair other than customize it to fit your personal style so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling of course the deets and everything links will be in the description box for this hair so yeah let's get into this look okay okay guys so the first thing that i'm gonna do is go into my morphe 35b palette and i'm taking this orange and pink shade and I'm using that as my transition shade this is a morphe i'm not sure what the name of this brush is but it's one of the fluffy brush i think it was like six dollars i got mine from ulta but yes this is the shade that i'm using my transition area now i'm going into this black shade um and i know you guys saw that it switched like I had on a blue shirt at first because the beginning of this video got deleted so I had to refilm the beginning on a separate day so yeah I just use that black shade in my crease um very simple now I'm just applying some concealer this is a ColourPop concealer in the shade light it's one of the light shades and I'm just using that to carve out the crease y'all this look was very simple um, it might look like it was difficult, but it really wasn't. It was literally two shades and then you cut your crease and then you add what two more shades or something like that. So this look is not as difficult as it might look. So I hope you guys really try to do this look. Um, yeah, I was a little frustrated with it um, because it's my first time trying it. So I never really practiced my makeup looks. I just, you know, press record and I just practice in front of you guys. So 
most of the time when i'm trying these looks it's my first time doing it so they don't come out exactly how i want them to come out but you know it's okay practice makes perfect um but yeah i just wish i would have blended the darker shade a little bit more so i mean but it's fine so now i'm taking this turquoise shade in the morphe 35b palette i'm just placing that on the outer part of the cut crease and now i'm taking that green shade from the rude ass badass girl palette and i'm placing that over the blue because i didn't want it to be super turquoise or super like blue i wanted it to be more toned down and a little bit more shimmery and then i'm gonna go back into that same palette into that white silvery shade and that's what's gonna go on like towards the inner portion of the eye so this is gonna be more of like an ombre y'all this eye look was really pretty like the finished pro the finished product is what really looks good it's more of like the process that we get into my head i'm like oh my gosh should i just stop and wipe this off now or should i just keep going so i just try to keep going because you know in the end it always comes together but y'all during the process i'll be so frustrated but yeah i'm just placing it in a corner and that's pretty much the whole eye look y'all i'm just gonna take that black shade and just add some to the outer corners just to like make sure that that part is blended um but yeah that's pretty much the entire eye makeup look like it's really not a lot to it you guys um so now i'm going into that black shade like i said i'm going to place that on the outer corners just to deepen them up a little bit um and then we're gonna do our face makeup off camera and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys the eyes the lower lash line portion of my eyes so i felt like the eyeliner portion was like self-explanatory so i didn't really want to say too much now i'm taking the tape off and as you can see you know it came out pretty good i just wish i would have blended the darker shade a little bit more but i mean it's fine especially once i put the lashes on you can't really see it so i'm not gonna be dramatic but i'm going back into that rude ass badass girl palette into that orangey shade and i'm using that for the lower lash line and then i think i think i took some black and put that on the lower lash line as well because i definitely put black liner on my waterline so i'm pretty sure i used black the same black shade in the palette with the orange see with the lashes you can't really see it that good so i'm not too upset with myself but yeah so you guys can see me add in the black a little bit of black just a touch just so it blends in with the waterline because you don't want to go orange on your lower lash line and then just black in the waterline you need something that's going to make it blend if you know what i mean now i'm taking my i think this is the milani waterproof liner i use it all the time it's either milani milani or um l'oreal so now i'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line as well as my um lashes on the top as well to blend in with the false lashes i never really show that part but i always do it now I'm taking that frosted shade and I'm placing that in the inner corner. Of course, you guys know I have to do my inner corner highlight. Of course. And I'm just going to highlight a little bit on the nose and stuff. But now we're just on the lips. This is the Ruby Kisses lip liner in the shade Burgundy. And then I'm going to go into my MAC lipstick. This one is one of the um, Viva Glam Nicki Minaj collection lipsticks. I think this one is Pink Friday, but I'm really not sure. But it will be in the description box. So check that out. You'll know exactly what shade I'm using because I really don't remember. Um, I have two of them. So. But this one is like a pale pink shade. It was really pretty for this look. Um, because the eyes were light but dark at the same time. So I decided to go with um, a lighter lip. And because I had dark hair and a dark top on, I didn't want to look too punk rockish. I didn't want it to look like that. So 
And now I'm adding this MAC gloss. This one is discontinued, so that's why I don't really talk about it. Because you can't get it. But you can use a regular clear gloss. And that is the finished look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any comments that you have down below. Also, don't forget to check out this hair. The beats and stuff will be down below in the description box, like I told you guys earlier. So yeah, give your girl a thumbs up if you like my hair and if you like this look that I did today. Um, I'm really enjoying colors and being a little more dramatic, you guys. This is the real me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really like neutral looks and all, but you know, every now and then you have to get glam. And y'all know I love a pink lip, okay? But I hate when, whatever. Yeah, you guys, so let me stop rambling because I tend to ramble a lot, but I'm about to film this mukbang in a minute. So yeah, stay tuned for that video too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys, of course, in my next one. Bye, you guys.